guys, Castlands and his big nose Haley. and yes, again, I got it on the first try. So today, I would like to welcome you at yet another episode of Moose Story. Today, our sweet little Mr. Moose Doran is going to, well, he's going to have some fun, in quotes, in Russian well, while he will travel and swim and travel and swim. Collect some crystals and once more swim. And with these spoilers, I encourage you to have a drink. Maybe check your toilet if it's empty enough so it could keep all that mental there. Why we're going to kind of get from my well, my introduction. And now let's move to. Mr. Moose telling us his stories. Hello guys, Lance Moose here, and as my announcer so nicely put in, I'm going to tell you my stories today. I'm going to tell a story of how I traveled around Silver Wind Refuge and I killed some Naga. So, I was sent to Silver Wind and along the way I managed to Kinda, well, the other adventurers call it level up, and I felt a new spell that was bestowed upon me by the omniscious, glorious, almighty spirits. It was called Chain Lightning. I couldn't resist, and I immediately chain lighted some of the local wildlife, and oh boy, that's glorious. I can I stopped regretting that that the call of the shaman if if I can say it like that called to me because man that is glorious. I have came to sprint to three per day smoothly after I roasted all the wine life around but immediately after I came there one orc grabbed me and started to tell me tales of the battle. You should have seen it, Shaman! The elves fought Silverwind to be impenetrable. With its heavy defensives and their arm of the water elementals, they were almost right. <laughs> almost. One of our mages was able to summon a twisted elemental designed to send the others into chaotic rage. Oh, the looks on their faces! <laughs> Unfortunately, the mage who summoned it fell in the battle. Now I need someone to bring down our own creation. And after I said yes to this orc, he, well, he just pointed me into some big thing in a puddle next to the Silverwind refuge. But there were some interesting conversation going on outside of this guy's up, maybe, or tent, I am not 100% sure how to call night urban structures, which were inhabited by the orcs. We are here to do just one thing, kill the lions! Em, don't forget about the bomb, Alda! Correction, we are gonna do two things, kill the lions and make sure our new goblin bomb gets the stone tunnel in one piece, and then we will use it to kill the lions! Now, do I have any volunteers? So I <laughs> will Sounds good. First battalion, prepare yourselves. And never forget. The scream's eyes are upon you. That screaming was pretty insane. I almost lost my ears. But, well. Oh, along the way to killing the elemental and listening to those uh, fanatics, almost to say, I got another quest. To kill four box for their ears and to kill their chieftain because they were losing their minds and threatening us and all that kind of stuff. Well, I killed the four box. I killed their chieftain, I reported, everything was alright, and then I went to kill the big bad elemental. He put up quite a fight. 
I never thought that water elemental could be resistant to lava magic, like the basic logic says that when you throw something as hot as lava into water, the water vaporizes and all is good, but obviously that was not the case with this big bad fucker. But, well, okay. Eventually he fell down and he dropped some weird glow. I thought it might be quite a good idea to bring it to someone who knows what to do with that. There was one guy, someone called Mastok Vrylis or something like that. I know that he had a really terrible name and I decided that with that terrible name he must be really wise, so I brought it to him. You find a nasty ball of water and decide to bring it to me? Who am I? The art in the ring or something? Actually, that gives me an idea. Perhaps you need the art in the ring for this. I mean, if it helps clear up the situation at the like for good, then I'm all for it. You know who the art in the ring are, Mr. Moose, don't you? Of course I knew who the art in the ring are. Like, I'm a bloody shaman and there are the shaman elite, you fucking uh, retard. And, oh, fuck that. Just tell me where they are right now. Yeah, well, one of them is in... It's in the Splinter Tree. And he should be able to guide you, so... I guess that you need to return to Splinter Tree, where you originally came from, I guess. Well, fuck my life. Back to Splinter Tree. I hope I was done with the hole as I purged the Doomguard who was pretending to be the leader of that uh, shithole. <sighs> Damn it. Or whatever. I came back to Splinter Tree. And I seeked out the... Well, I seeked out that guy from the Art and Rank and... Well... It didn't go as I expected. The Arten Ring guy in Splinter Tree sent me to Zongar Outpost that there was someone more. Uh, there was someone more qualified to uh, tell me what am I? What was I supposed to do with the nasty ball of water, as that guy previously so delicately put in? So well, I. I asked him where the Zorm Zorm Zoramgar, that's the word, that's also a fucking name, how orcs invent the name for things, for the love of holy earth mother, but I asked them for the way to Zoramgar outpost and he told me that it's on the opposite side of Ashenwall and if I haven't mentioned it previously, Ashenwall is pretty big, so I was like, I thought he lost his mind for a second. But thankfully, he told me that I could get a free ride on a Wyvern there. Finally! In Zoramgar, they told me that the guy that I'm looking for is. well. Jan! They went to uh, something called Black Fathom Depths, and they told me that I should get there by the. Vortex thingy instance something and holy shit I'm going to vomit in the vortex again. Fuck my life. But before I could prepare to go to Blackfart Room, I received some more tasks. The Zoramgar outpost was overrun by the Naga, so I was asked to kill the Naga. Then I was asked to well scrap some iron from the water and to light up the flame in the lighthouse. I was asked to light up the flame in the lighthouse with oil, which they didn't have. So I was supposed to kill the Hydra that live under the water, with a lighting and lava by the way, and collect their testicles, then squeeze the testicles, get the oil, pour it into the lighthouse and light it up. What the fuck? Is this the horde that kicked the crap of the Legion, Dark Rule and the Old Gods? Fuck. That I just sometimes I regret that I decided to join the adventurous life. <laughs> oh God! <sighs>
Ah, uh, well, after some solid struggles, I decided to get the iron. But then I kind of started to feel like my lungs are empty of uh, the air, and like I started to drown, and I bloody drowned. But uh, I thought that. I thought that the spirit healer would have some nasty, like, nasty thoughts about me that I almost died once more and not almost, I fucking died there and I drowned under the water, like that's just the stupidest death ever. But instead, the elemental spirit's voice rang in my head. You really yeah, love dying, I don't you? you? Oh my god, I thought that after this time spent in the world, you will know what to do, but obviously you don't. But this at least gives us, like, it gives you the opportunity to test that, and it gives me the opportunity to laugh at you, a new ability. Like a new thing that shamans can do, and it's called reincarnation. That can bring you back where, exactly where you are. And because we have not trespassed into the realms of the spirit healers and the Murlocs and Vosamdi, I think that you still can kinda concentrate and use it. So concentrate and use it. It's not that hard as you usually think. I curse the spirit for being such an asshole. And I concentrated and I came back. Oh, that was pretty handy, as I didn't have to run in the spirit realm, and no spirit healer is looking nasty at me, and oh boy, I will need to do that more often. <coughs> so I finished the killing of the, of the Hydra, I was watching the uh, air in my lungs, and I went to uh, uh, squeeze the testicles and light up the lighthouse. Okay, I did that, I killed the naga, I collected the scrap, everyone was happy, and everyone was happy until we got some more info about the situation in Blackford from Depths. A blacksmith who asked me to collect the iron scrap on the bottom of the lake or sea or whatever the puddle of death was, asked me if I couldn't venture there and collect some crystals of the Akumai Herald of the Old Gods, because he thought that it would improve his weapons, and along the way I was also supposed to kill some more Naga. So, okay, Old God infused crystals in the hands of some peon. What could go wrong, right? Um, I collected the crystals, I killed the Naga, I brought the crystals back to the peon. He forged some mighty weapons and surprisingly nothing went wrong. But then the leader of the Kromgar outpost, or not Kromgar outpost, Zoramgar outpost. Fuck it. Fuck the orcs. Fuck the horde. They have so stupid names for everything and most importantly fuck the Ashenwal. That's a terrible zone to be in. But, well, I did this. I did that, and with all of that done, I was asked to collect some stag asses before they would send me elsewhere. So I collected the, the stag asses, I brought them to the leader of the Zorangar outpost, yes I got it right, hell yeah, and well. He then informed me about an urgent need for a shaman somewhere else. Mr. Moose, we have nothing more for you here, but my colleague from Hellscream's Watch sent me a message that he needs a good shaman. I think that you could step up to his expectations what it means a good shaman. So yeah. Hellscream's watch is between here and Sprinter Tree, and I think that you flew over it while you were on the way here. So go for it, and just don't put.
put me in shame when you do something fuck up, yeah? Because I sent you there and the shame would be on my head. Okay? Good. So, well, go, 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 the heart needs you. Hell Scream's eyes are upon you. I've had enough running for that day. So, I decided to continue my adventure next time. <laughs> so, yeah, with this, I went to sleep. And the next day, I slept even more because running and swimming and doing all the things in one day, it really exhausts one thousand. So, yeah, I decided to venture into Hellscreen's watch of three days later, and that's a story for another time. And that was it for today's... Um, for today's Adventures of Mr. Moose. My throat is pretty fucked up because the orcish voice are slowly killing me, but okay. <laughs> if you have liked this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike in the comment section below to tell me what exactly you did not like. Was it my voice? Was it my shitty ability to make like a voice of the crowd and the yelling army and kind of that? Or is it simply the fact that you don't dislike the stories and why have you watched the video that is like obviously a story slash RP? Like, what the fuck? Or do you think I'm a shit RPR? Maybe? Um, yeah, well, if you want to support me somehow, then feel free to take this video or any of my other videos and share it wherever you can, or your Facebook, Twitter, Discord. Maybe you can, f if you also feel free to, like, mention me in, uh, like, a YouTube video if you are just, like, a, some really famous and glorious YouTuber and you are, like, looking at it and say, hey, this guy is cool, let's kind of make his audience bigger. Okay, um, well, <laughs> then if you would like to be notified by my other videos, then feel free to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. Uh, okay, and that's probably all I wanted to say to you today, so yeah, have a nice day, thank you for watching slash listening, because there is not that much to watch, and I will see you somewhere in the future, guys. Bye-bye.